Hey, good morning. There was a church, there was a church where um, there was division in the church. What was happening was this, you had wealthy members in the church and you had, you had poor members in the church. The wealthy members of the church were coming together like at the church and they were eating, they were stuffing themselves, they were drinking, they were even getting a little tipsy on the drinking as they gathered right at the, at, at the church. There are also poor members of the church that when they gathered in the same gathering with the rich members, were going hungry, weren't having, weren't having their needs met. And because this was happening at the same church with the rich, with, with the wealthy members and the poor members, there, as they sat around the community table, there was division because, because they, were, they were simply not connecting with one another. This church that we're talking about is the church of Corinth. Because it stood out to me, as it says in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, as we're reading through the Bible, verses 27 through 28 says this, So anyone who eats this bread, it's talking about communion, the communion wafer, eats this bread and drinks this cup, it's talking about communion, of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and blood of the Lord. This is why you should, here we go, you should examine yourselves before eating the bread and drinking the cup. Here's what I wanna talk about today, examining yourself before communion. Examining yourself before communion. So we're just talking about church stuff here. If you're not a believer, this is church stuff, right? But when we take communion, what we are saying is, we are united around Jesus. This is our brothers and sisters in Christ, and we're all connected because our identity is in Jesus. But sometimes, a lot of times, when we take communion, we take it unworthily because we're divided against our brothers and sisters. In this particular church, it was the rich and the poor. In some churches, it's black and white. In some churches, it's male or female. In some churches, it's Republican and Democrat. You are clearly, in many churches, you're clearly divided. You're clearly judging your brothers. You're clearly not connected to them. You're clearly holding them at arm's length. You're not, but when you come to the table, you're saying, look, we're all united in Jesus. And it's a lie. And it's a lie. And it says that we are to examine ourselves, right? And Jesus says, listen, if you come to the table, if you come to worship Jesus, and before you take that, what are you supposed to do? Put it down, put the communion elements down, put the bread down, put the wine down. Go, you go make up with your brother and sister. Go f get, get their forgiveness. Go ask their forgiveness. Go unite back with them and then come back to the table of unity. And so you're not lying to yourself and everybody else. Go, go bring unity back to the body, heal the body, and then come to the table and say, we're all connected. Examine yourself before you come to the table. And if you find your unity lacking, if you find that division, go find those people, go find that person, bring unity, and then come back to the table. Let's take this and let's turn it back into prayer. Father. We thank you that our identity is not based on how good we are, but how good you are. That our worth is not found in, in what we can do, but what you have already done. So thank you that we get to unite around your victory through faith. Father, forgive us of our divisions. Forgive us of lying about the unity when we're clearly divided. Bring unity to our body and let us come to the communion, uh, time of communion with unity, uh, with one another as we take the body and we take the blood, we take the bread, we take the wine. We love you. It's the name of your son, Jesus, that all love God's people said what? Amen. Hey, join us as we read through scripture in two years. Go to graceunitedlr.com, find the app, find the Bible study, and we'll see you again next week. Bye.